had some interesting things with cars over the years. A few years ago, we had a man in our church who was a factory representative of the Buick Automobile Company. And so he got me a couple of Buicks. They had a few thousand miles on them, but he saved me thousands of dollars. And one, uh, one day, uh, Shirley was backing her Buick out, and she, she knocked the uh, rear view mirror off. Went out. The logical thing to do would have been take it back to Buick Company and get it fixed, but she didn't do that. And she didn't tell me or I'd have taken it back to the Buick people and gotten it fixed. She took it up to one of our deacons, <laughs> Paul Scholler. Paul's retired. And she said, Paul, can you glue this mirror back on? <laughs> now, Paul said, I got some super glue. I don't know if it'll hold. She said, well, let's glue it back on so Dr. Lindsay won't know anything about it. So a few weeks later, we were going somewhere, and I said, honey, let, how about if we use your car? She said, that's fine. And I was driving down the street, and I hit a bump, and her mirror fell off. <laughs> I said, my soul, your mirror fell off. You know what she said? She said, you broke my car. I pulled the car over to the side. I got out and I looked at it. I said, this has been glued on. I said, I know good and well General Motors doesn't glue their mirrors on. And then she admitted. A few years later, we both had Chryslers. And I'd gotten her a new Chrysler. And one day I'd wash mine, and I said, Honey, would you like me to wash yours? She said, That sure would be nice. So I backed it out and drove it under the oak tree and started washing it. I got to the roof. I said, My soul, what's up here? I got the stepladder and got up where I could see good. It's all scraped and had white stuff on it. I said, What in the world have you done to the roof of your car? She said, I hadn't done anything. I went over and looked at the garage door. <laughs> and I had painted that garage door, and I'd put four or five layers of white paint on the bottom of the garage door so that it wouldn't rot, you know. I said, you, turn, you closed the garage door on your car, didn't you? <laughs> and she admitted she did. <laughs> Our marriage hadn't been perfect. I tell you, you got to apply these principles to your marriage. You do. But what, what we proclaim to you is they work. We have a wonderful marriage, but we're not perfect. 